Hi, I'm Kate Fox with Village Connection Magazine, and we're here today at the Chocolate Expo at the Cradle of Aviation Museum in Garden City, New York, and I'm talking with Ray Donnelly, who's a docent here at the museum. Hi, Ray. How you doing? I'm doing so good, and, and, and I'm, I'm so glad to be here. As I was telling you, my kids and I are here all the time for different, different conventions, different things, just for the museum, and I was hoping you could tell us what it is you do here and, and what brought you here. Well, I actually was born here. Uh, my dad was stationed in the Army Air Corps at Mitchell Field. This is a, an Air Corps base, started in 1916 and closed down in 1961. Uh, Nassau County acquired the property from the military, and it's been a museum for about 25 years now. Uh, I actually used to come here as a high school student and run, run track in these hangars. And then uh, when my boy was growing up, I have a son who's in the Air Force now. He, when he was growing up, he came here as a volunteer at 12 years old. And now he's, now he's in the Air Force. He's actually uh, flying um, the vice president. Oh, that's so cool. That you, must be, you must be very proud. I am. But it all started right here at the museum. Uh, there, are, there are wonderful programs here. This is a, uh, a, a central focus for many, many students who are interested in aviation, engineering, and technology. As a matter of fact, we are a STEM school, and a number of high schools locally bring their high school students here every day for advanced placement uh, science classes. And we've had a number of kids graduate and go on and get full scholarships for engineering at places like Columbia. So this is a school as well as a museum. I, I never, ever knew that. Well, uh, there's so many things about the museum that uh, over a period of years we've been growing our exhibits, and our exhibits start uh, in the early flight, things like balloons, all the way up to the lunar landing module built here on Long Island. Uh, Grumman Corporation built the, the LEM, and we actually have number 18, which was going to be the next one to go to the moon. The last two or three missions were canceled, so we actually have a, a completed LEM that did not go to the moon. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and if you, if you ever see the movie Apollo 13, you'll see our LEM because Tom Hanks borrowed our LEM to make his movie. Really? Yes. We also have another aircraft in the museum that was in the movies. You probably saw the movie uh, Spirit of St. Louis uh, starring a, a fellow named Jimmy Stewart. Jimmy Stewart, he was actually a general in the Army Air Corps. He was a bomber pilot during World War II, and he was a pilot. And in 1955, when they made the movie, Spirit of St. Louis, they used an aircraft that was flown by Charles Lindbergh and Eric Lindbergh. And that aircraft is in our museum, hanging right over there on the ceiling. The oh, wow. St. Louis. It's a sister ship. So it was flown by Charles Lindbergh, his grandson Eric, and Jimmy Stewart in the movie. Well, then we're going to have to go see that because that's just wicked cool and I, I want to say Ray thank you so much for talking to us oh my pleasure and I'm glad you came I am too <laughs> this is Kate Fox with Village Connection magazine Thanks.